Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Alan Hayne, the Lawn Care Nut. Thanks for coming back for yet another week. So this week, I've got a tool review for you. The Lawn Boy Company actually sent me one of their mowers, an all-wheel drive model, and said, hey, we'd like you to review this. And so that's what this video is about today. Now, a couple things to keep in mind before I do the review. So the first thing to keep in mind is that Lawn Boy did send me this mower, and I am being compensated for this review. So keep that in mind as you watch the video. The second thing to remember is that I've been a fan of Lawn Boy for quite a while, long before they sent me this mower. Some of you have been around for a while, have seen some of my earlier videos. In fact, my most most famous lawn striping video, the lawnmower that I used in that video is a Lawn Boy mower. That mower was part of their Insight series and it had a really good Tecumseh engine, nice fat wide tires that I like and really it just cut a good lawn, it just mowed really well. I like the way the sense of speed worked. It's probably one of the best mowers I've ever owned. So you should keep that in mind when you view the rest of this video as well. All right, so those of you that have been around for a while, you know that when I do these reviews, I don't typically like to just tell you a lot of stuff that you could read online, but I do have some contractual obligations here. So let me go through and tell you some of the high points of this mowers, like options and features. This is the 21 inch variable speed, all wheel drive, self-propelled mower from Lawn Boy, model number 10739. Tri-cut cutting system, 21 inch steel, deep dome deck is lightweight yet durable and it provides excellent mulching capabilities and a superior quality of cut. Two point height of cut allows you to quickly adjust cutting heights from one side of the mower. Larger bag capacity for when you need to bag your clippings. All wheel drive provides superior traction and low effort maneuverability. There are also a couple of smart options on this mower. I don't know if they did this on purpose or not, but some things that I noticed about it that I really like. Let's talk about those real quick. So smart option wise, I just noticed here that the fuel filler cap, you see how that opening is a lot wider? That's wider than any other mower I think I've ever used, and that just makes it a lot easier. Number one, to grip that cap to get it off of there, and number two, it just makes things a lot easier to fill. Now, the all-wheel drive is actually adjustable, and I really like that because it allowed me to customize the mower to the feel that I wanted. I was able to give it some really good testing over at my cousin's house. They've got some really nice, thicker St. Augustine, and the mower did great through that. And here it is at my house, breaking through some thick, overgrown Bermuda that's in the midst of a battle with Dallas grass. Check out how she performed here. And then lastly, really, it's about how does this mower look? And that's really what I like best about it, actually. I think it has a cool stance and it just looks kind of tough going across the lawn. See, I think sometimes what comes down to a mower and its owner is feel. It's almost like you test drive a car, right? When you test drive a car, you know that you like the way it drives, the way it handles, the way it moves, the way it accelerates. And that's what I really liked when I used this mower. I like the way it accelerates. I like the way it feels and handles around curves and over bumps. And it just feels good in my hand. A lot like when you know when you drive that right car, that's how I felt about this mower. I really liked the way it felt when I used it. All right, guys, so there you go. This kind of brings this review to a conclusion here. And then the final question that I know you're all going to ask, Alan, what are you going to do with this mower? And in fact, I know what some of you are thinking. You're wondering, is this mower going to replace your current mower as your daily driver? And the answer to that is...